Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Darren. I hope you're all well and had a good stitchy week. Um, so noticed I've had a, uh, a few more subscribers come on. I'm now over 2,800. So thank you very much for all you new guys and welcome to the channel. Uh, if you're a returning viewer, again, thank you very much for returning. It is much appreciated. Uh, so we're getting close to the 3,000 mark. And once we get to 3,000, I've got a, a giveaway I'm going to do. Uh, but we'll see when that gets here. If not, it may just be at the beginning of the year. We'll see. <laughs> um, so it's been a kind of productive week this week. <laughs> um, so quick life update for you. So um still haven't heard back from the specialist about my ears. So I found them up on Tuesday because I was off on Tuesday. And um, they said, they are, I'm still on the waiting list. They haven't forgot about me. I was like, well, I was only meant to be waiting 90 days. It's been a lot longer than that. She went, yeah, we're really busy. We'll get to you as soon as we get to you. I was like, oh, okay then. <laughs> so no rush from them. Um, good news though, I did have got my appointment already to see the cardiologist. Um, so the doctor sent the referral on Saturday, not this one, just gone the one before. And on the Monday, they phoned me up and booked me in. So I'm booked in for the 4th of December uh, to see the specialist. Um, so that's a start. So at least that's one on the way. <laughs> so fingers crossed, we'll see how we go with that one. And all being well, it's just a simple quick test and that'll be it. And everything will be fine. Um, college work, as you know, my, I finished the unit. My next unit was meant to start on the 29th. Um, and then I got a message yesterday telling me it starts on the 24th. So that starts on Wednesday. So <laughs> now what I'm going to be doing next weekend. Yippee. Uh, right, so I've got, I think it's about eight projects to go through um, this week. Um, some of them haven't got much work done on them, but I'll explain that later. Um, I've got some purchases as well. So I'll show you those first. The first one I didn't buy. I, I've been waiting for this for almost a year now off my brother. And finally I got it. So I hope you can see this. And it is my Long Dog Sampler Anzac. So this is the one that I'm going to be doing in Mrs. Sader Silk. So in Supernova. So we'll see how that goes. I haven't decided on what fabric I'm going to use on that one yet. Um, obviously it's going to be one that the colors don't blend in on it. So if you haven't seen the, the silks I'm going to be using, I'll show you the color. Could I have it here? So the color I'm going to be using is this one. So it's called Supernova. It's by Mrs. Sadis. So that's the color I'm going to do with Anzac in. I just need to find a fabric to do it on. I don't know why, but I'm drawn to black. <laughs> I don't think I needed more projects on black. But we will see, we will see. I might find a different fabric before then. So, uh, and then the second one, I ordered um, the beads for the Mirabilis and the Filipina. Uh, Bella, Phili Bella Filipina, um, so I can get those started. So they are turned up, so I've got a nice bag full of beads. I've just got the, the treasures to purchase for that. They're not cheap. <laughs> and then I've got to try and find fabric as well. I keep looking at fabrics and every time I try and find one, they're not available. So we'll have to see what we do with that one. So I'll keep looking. Hopefully I can get some fabric. So I get it all ready to start for January. So those was my purchases, if you like. Um, so, right, let's get into what we've been working on this week. So the first one is a piece that has not been out for a very, 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 very long time. <laughs> so because obviously um, in the Northern Hemisphere, daylight saving has come to an end, um, so when I find my work on a Saturday now, it's later at night. So I can't be bothered with stitching while I'm talking to her on that one. So I pull out my hard hanger piece. And I've done a fair bit on it in the last two weeks. <laughs> so I'll pop a picture in of where it was when I started. Uh, so this is one I'm just 
practicing on. Now let me make sure I get the right way around because last time I showed it backwards. There we go. So this is where we are up to on this piece. So this is just a freebie one from Lakeside Needle Crafts. Just I was just giving it a try because I've always wanted to try hard hanging. So before I had I think two of these done. So I finished all the centre part now and then started on the outside board it. So I've got all the way around, let my thread run out there last night <laughs> when I was on the phone with my mum for the fair few stitches. So I just need to finish that bit off. And I'm hoping it's all gonna line up and I've not miscounted anyway, because otherwise that's a lot of frogging. <laughs> so that is my hard hanger piece. So it's coming together. So I think we're getting close to starting some cut work on that one, which is the part I'm not looking forward to. Because I'm hoping I don't stuff it up. So that was the hard hanger piece. Now onto the, the stitching. So first of all, this one, I finished doing all the cross stitching on this one absolutely ages ago. <laughs> and this was going to be my first finish for the year. And I just had all the back stitching and French knots to do. So if you can remember what this one is, this was my DMC kit which is called World of Water, which is this one. So last night I started doing the back stitching on it. So the back stitching is all done. All I've got to do now is finish the French knots. And I think I've still got about 200 French knots to do. So this is where I was looking at now. So you can't see, but there's silver back stitching in the fish. <laughs> So it's just a line on the fish, so you can't really see it. So why the print? I have no idea. Uh, but I backstitched all the, the dolphins. And then across the top here, there's some silver metallic coming through. So all the backstitching is done metallics. So it does make a shine to it, but you can't see some of it. <laughs> so all I've got to do now is put do all the French knots. So all these fishes all have the French knot as an eye. All these ones up here need finishing off. And then there's a load like where these dolphins are jumping out and on the back here. So I've got about yeah, 200 French knots left to do. <laughs> so we're getting close to a finish on this one, a fully finished one on that one. So I'll plod along and just do a couple of French knots each night, I think, on there just to try and get that one done. Right. So on Tuesday, as I mentioned, I had a day off. Um, we had a house inspection. Um, so I took the day off because I needed to see the um, realtor for some things I needed doing. So I was like, right, what can I stitch on? Now, I got ready to stitch and then I realised it was my auntie's funeral on Tuesday. Um, so I started working on three projects <laughs> and I was like, I'm just not feeling it. I'm not feeling it. So, so these next three projects got a little bit of work done to them. But not a lot. <laughs> but I thought I'd show you them anyway. So the first one is in my gorgeous project bag by Jared's mum. And this is my white tiger, uh, Heaven and Earth Designs. Uh, and it's artwork by David Penfell, which is this one. And I'm doing it on 28 count navy um, even weave. Seeing as it's made up all white. <laughs> and I did a total of 66 stitches on this one. <laughs> so this is where it's up to. So basically I just filled it this little bit across it. But that was all about it. So I didn't do much on that at all. And I was like, I'm just not feeling this piece. So put it away. So that was a very small <laughs> bit of work on there. So I'll get some more done on that one at some point. <laughs> And then I thought, I know, I'll have a new start. Why not? That'll get me in the stitchy mood. So I thought, right, what shall we start? Now, I haven't printed the pictures off of this one yet, so let me just get these loaded up for you and I'll show you. So the first one was a heaven and earth design. And this was a chart that was gifted to me. And it's called Mini Tiger on the Rocks. 
and it's artwork by Dakota Faithwiller. I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm not 100% sure. Which is this one. Excuse the clap. It's a bit cloudy outside today. We were expecting rain for a week. So I'm going to put the light on. So hopefully you can see this one. So that one. So I started this one. <clears throat> by start, I mean it was a very small start. So it's done on 28 count easy guide. And I'm doing it 2 over 1 with 10 stitch. And this, oh, not that one, this one. And I got a total of 92 stitches in this one. And I was like, nah, I'm not feeling this one either. <laughs> so that is my measly little start. <laughs> but it started. So that was that one. I was like, I'm not feeling this one. What else can I start? So, it's always the case when you want to fold fabric all week and it won't fold up. So I was like, what else can I start? So I thought, I know. I'll start another piece that I've been wanting to start for a while, which is by the Cross Stitch Studio. And this one is called Humility. I'm doing the cropped version of it. Because there's a lot of uh, blue background. And that's this piece. So I thought, right, I'll start this one. So again, I start this one on 28 count easy guide, doing it one over one full cross. And I did 142 stitches on this one. And did that bit. <laughs> so you can see that, okay. And I was like, nah, I'm not feeling this one either. So I put that one away. <laughs> It was just one of those days I just could not decide what I wanted to work on. And I was like, ah, oh, well, never mind. We'll get someone done. So I started them anyway. So they now started. So then I decided I was going to pull out my Mirabilia. Because it was. I don't know why, it just seemed to be calling to me. So I pulled out my Mirabilia. Which is my Archangel. I think it just seemed fitting on the day. And this one is being done on 32 count um, witch elk permian fabric in the colorway Mediterranean Sea. And this one, I got a fair bit of work on. So this one got 646 stitches. Now you're gonna have to excuse me because I moved it in the queue snap so that I could get to where I wanted to. So this is where we're up to now. So, I decided to work my way up to the top. So, all this here is this wing. It's all done two over two. So, I made my way up to the top and then start filling in from the top so I can work my way down. So, this one got 646 stitches in this week. So, as I say, I was feeling this one for some reason, so I stuck with it. So, I did a fair bit on that one. So, I can now start working my way down and filling in this. And then his head's around about here, I think, or his crown. So, yeah, so I'll do that wing and this part here, because this is the furthest out part. And then I can move it back across and then get in where I need to. Either that or put it in a bigger queue snap. We'll see. <laughs> so, that one is uh, now coming along nicely. And this one is in my Garment Topes bag, which I got off Lisa. Uh, next one I worked on was my Mini Deer Creek, uh, which is artwork by Donna Gelsinger. Again, it's in a heaven and earth design. And I found my paperwork. <laughs> so this is what it will look like when it's finished. So this one I'm doing again on 28 count easy guide. Uh, no, not. I'm doing on 28 count Lugana, Brittany Lugana, and the colorway Sage. And I'm doing one over one but full cross. Now, I didn't get an awful lot done on this. I've got 250 stitches. Well, this is where we're up to now on that one. On top of paper. So as you can see, I mean, I was up there, so I've just carried on working down the black. And then I started picking another colour and I thought, oh, I'll do this one. It's something that's not black. <laughs> 3799 grey. <laughs> or 
but never mind. So this one is starting to grow slowly. So that was Mini Deer Creek. And then the next one I worked on was my big cats. Oh, we're back. So it's by Tilton Crafts. And as you know, I was I had the challenge with Jeanette in my Facebook group to finish the snow leopard, or white tiger as I kept calling it. And I was close to a finish last time. So this one was on 28 count easy guide. And I'm doing it, no it's not, it's 25 count easy guide. I'm doing it one over one full cross. And this one got a total of 498 stitches in it this week. And I finished his face. So that's the snow leopard now complete. So if you're on my Facebook group, you'll have seen this already. But he looks absolutely stunning. Yeah, I was determined I was getting this one finished. <laughs> so that's all done. Jeanette, unfortunately, she wasn't able to stitch for a couple of weeks because they had to do some yard work. So she didn't get much chance to work on hers. So she hasn't finished hers yet. So that's this challenge now completed. So this one's going to go away for a bit. And then I'm on a Facebook group, which is called Survival of the Stitches. A couple of people, you may have heard of it. Um, so I showed them there that I'd finished that one. And then Nicole, the one who sent me the uh, box of goodies, she says, are you up for another challenge? So as I mentioned last week, she is working on Daydream Tigers. I'll find print out the paperwork, which is this one. And as I mentioned before, she's already done a fair bit of this and worked across to this flower here. And I'm working up in this section. So I was like, yeah, sure, why not? So she challenged me to get 5,000 stitches done by the end of the year. And she's gonna do 10,000 stitches because Obviously, I've got my work in college and stuff like that. So I was like, okay, challenge accepted. <laughs> so I've got, what, about six weeks to get 5,000 stitches done. Luckily, this one's only on 10 stitch, so it does go pretty quick. So again, I'll just show you what it's up to on there, just for comparisons. As I say, I'm working on this tire here. So that's his ear and the top of his head, you can see. So we will see how we go with that one. <laughs> and then the last piece I worked on is my supersized tiger family of the jungle, I believe. Yep. And as always, I've got the picture. So again, it's having the design. I work by uh, Jana Patrick Krasny. And I'm working in this tiger down here. And I'm working in this section, just around here. So this one is being done on 25 count easy guide and I'm doing it one over one full cross. And this one got 1,458 stitches in it this week. So this is where we're up to now. So I've just been picking a color from the top and then running it down and seeing how far we get. So I've got maybe around about half the page all together done. So it's getting close to getting some work finished in there. So this flower here is now finished, finally. That one's a lot of uh, ninja stitches in that one. So, but that's finally finished now. And then I say it's all completed up to there because I can see one stitch that I need to put in. So it's finished up to there, but the colors have been running pretty smoothly. So this one is really coming along now. So we'll see what we can get done on this one by the end of the year. I actually worked out, if my calculations are right, I've done 73,101 stitches on this so far this year. So that's not bad going. Bit of target of what I wanted to do, I put down I, wanted, I was going to do 141,000, so I got halfway there. <laughs> and that's all I got stitched on this week. So I didn't do too bad, I don't think. <laughs> Uh, so that's those. Um, what have I got next? So next, I just want to do two shout outs. Um, 
So the first one is Laura. I think that's how you pronounce the name. It's spelled Laura, but it's pronounced Laura, I believe. It was Colourful Stitching Girl. She is in the Netherlands. And she is doing um, a fair few hates. She's doing the, I think it's North, no, not North American style. Uh, it's one of the big animal ones. Uh, I can't remember which one it is now. I've got it, but I can't remember which one it is. Uh, African and mammals or something like that. It's a big one. She's doing that. She started in the middle on a big tiger. That one's looking really, really cool. And she's doing a, an underwater scene as well. And oh, that one is looking amazing. Now, on the last video, um, I don't think she got much stitching done. Um, she's recently just found out she's pregnant, so congratulations, Lara. Um, and she was due to get married, and that got cancelled um, due to all the COVID stuff. Um, so, yeah, but she's doing, she's got a fair few really good projects on the go. A couple of, uh, full, well, a fair few full coverage. She likes the full coverage ones, and a lot of them are hate as well. So, uh, she's a really lovely lady. So, I suggest going and checking her out. And the next one is Cat from Cat Talks. Um, now she does a lot of different type of products. She's got your mill heels. She's got your full coverage. She's got everything you can think of. <laughs> and hers is really good. Hers is a, more like a vlog style um, YouTube. Um, she goes through like the full week of what she's working on and what she's going to be doing in the morning and in the afternoon and. She gets some really good progress done and she gets a fair few finishes done as well. Um, so yeah, she has some really good projects on the go on there as well. So I suggest checking her out as well. So both of these are linked down below. Um, so if you're looking for somebody else to watch, go and check those channels out. They're really, really good. So that's everything that I want to mention this week. Um, Zoom meetings, I said I was going to do a Zoom meeting this weekend and completely forgot uh, with running around doing here, there and everywhere and phoning hospitals. Um, so Zoom meetings, I am going to do those definitely next week. I will probably put the links up for those later today in the Facebook group. So if you're not in the Facebook group and you are interested in joining the Zooms, um, you can either join the Facebook group, which is linked down below. Just answer the three questions and uh, you'll be accepted. If you're not on Facebook um, and you do want to join the Zooms, then you can either send me an email um, which is again linked down below, um, dizzystitcher at gmail.com uh, and I'll send you the, um, the code or if you're on Instagram you can follow me on there um, my Instagram name is dizzystitcher, surprise surprise and just send me a message on there and I'll send you the link through that as well so those will get done uh, I say Stitch With Maze, I was going to do one this week, I was going to do it on Tuesday as I say I just wasn't feeling it so I didn't do one so I'm going to get one done this morning so that is ready for during the week. Um, so I might do one, might do two. We'll see how we go. Uh, but other than that, that's everything I've got for you this week. So if you do have any questions or comments, then please feel free to drop those down below. Um, or you can email me again. Again, email is linked down below or message me on Instagram. Um, so that's everything for me. So until my next video, which will have to be my stitch with me, because it's definitely getting done this week, or my next update video. Um, stay safe, happy stitching, and until my next video, thanks for watching, and bye bye for now.